Hello there, in this episode we're going to be talking about a blood splatter effect with this material on it which looks like this it looks really cool because every time it spawns the effect it looks different because the material is different the material is kind of uh, procedural because we're, uh, we've added this kind of animation into it so let's get started first of all we need a material and for, for doing that we have to go into um, I've created all of my folders inside the story content since I already had it. Uh, right click, material, create a new material and then name it something. Double click on it and open up your material. For the blood effect you're going to be needing a texture. If I go into the um, Google and type in blood splatter texture you're going to get a lot of different textures this one though i didn't download from google i just asked chat gpt to generate a um, blood splatter texture for me and it did um so it doesn't look perfect i mean i've tried to get flip books from it doesn't generate those things so this is the other method of doing that you can either go the uh, flip book way or go the using one texture way anyway we have the texture you downloaded a texture you have it it looks cool if you don't have a transparent background if the background is um, black white whatever just come in come down here uh, we have the, in the adjustment section we have the option to use chroma key texture make sure it's on and uh, make sure the Make sure you select the color here, color in the background, and then key threshold is going to be something that can easily cut the background off. Uh, and that's for the texture, then let's just go ahead and grab it into the scene. Um, it's kind of a pretty easy material to use. So the material itself is going to be masked. We can go ahead and use translucent as well. It's, going, it's just going to be a little bit more expensive don't we don't really need that we can either um, use on lit as well maybe that will work better um so the material is going to be masked on lit we don't need it to be two-sided and that's it um, RGB is going to be into the emissive color and as you can see we need another opacity mask as well to do that we get the texture coordinates texture coordinates hold M on your keyboard I'm using a 0.3 value it's just uh, to make the texture go bigger or smaller and then we are going to be using a panner here I mean this is the X value I'm using a 0.1 and 0.2 for the Y value uh, and this one here is just a noise inside the engine. So if you type in texture uh, texture sample and then search for noise, you'll get a lot of noise. These are mostly inside the engine, so you can just go ahead and um, choose one of them. I used the Perlin noise just find a uh, find a noise texture and use that as your um, starter point. And then this one goes into the UV. So as if we right click on this, start previewing node, we'll get something like this. So we have an animation. Cool. And then we'll need a smooth step. This one this one goes into the value. So start previewing it. I'm going to be playing around with it a little bit. It's just to make sure that we get less of this texture. We don't want the texture to um, contain all the screen. We want the um, we want to spawn a lot of blood on the screen, and we don't want them to be really, really obvious. We want the effect to be subtle. So this is going to be our alpha. We are going to be multiplying this with the alpha of the texture we just um, downloaded from Google or anywhere. Um, and then we, if the texture is translucent, we are not going to be using a translucent texture, but if 
texture is translucent we need the particle color as well because we have to multiply it by the particle color and then this one goes into the opacity I'm just this is just for caution you can just ignore this one and hook this one into the opacity mask it doesn't really matter okay this is the material it's easy um, it's really easy to set up so for the Niagara system go to your particles folder if you don't have one make sure to create a new folder right click Niagara system and then um, hit next and then probably use a fountain and hit plus and then finish and name it something I've named it NS underline blood splatter so in the properties tab the sim target is going to be GPU compute sim this is important it makes the uh, effect to be really really optimized Emitter state, uh, loop behavior is once, loop duration mode is fixed. We want to activate the effect and we want the effect to just com get completely gone after some seconds. We don't want it to loop at all. So it's going to be um, spawned once. Then we want a spawn burst in instantate instantaneous. Um, I'm using a hundred of them to spawn so that's it if you have anything else just make sure deleting them just select and hit delete on your keyboard and then they're gone we want a velocity add velocity here and as you can see the values are uh, it's just a linear and a random just come in here type in random range vector and the um, range is minus 200 200 minus 200 250 to 500 then we need a gravity i mean if you don't have one if you have a gravity then just leave it as is as is uh drag force we already had it um we already have scaled color we don't really need that we can use a scale mesh size by color so we can just go scale size by speed I'm sorry scale mesh sprite size by this one right here uh, scale sprite size by speed we can use that to make it a little bit more like dynamic probably you can see the texture is always working its job to randomize everything If you want to use the scale color this one should be translucent this is masked so we or in the mask section it should be the a uh, the their opacity mask you should be clicking on this one I'm not so I'm not using scale color this was just here from um, the default effect in the sprite renderer though we need to make sure that the material is set to the material we've created so find it in the content browser and make sure to select it here alignment is velocity aligned so wherever they go they'll face that way um, this is pretty important and facing mode is face camera uh, and you, you've right now you've created the effect so how can we add it to our probably um, character you can just drag and drop it it's as simple as that so we find it in the content browser we come here and drag and drop it and that's it then what I would usually do is make sure this one's disabled and then if you want to uh, activate it you can just drag it into the event graph and type in activate and it will activate it for once and then the effect will um, finish after five seconds um, in the initialized particle this is something I missed explaining this is pretty important lifetime min is 0.5 lifetime max is 1.5 color is not important it's just red it's 
uh, plot. Size mode is random uniform and uh, mean 30, max 60. And that's it, you don't need to change anything else. We want the effect to be gone after um, 5 seconds. You can change this, doesn't matter, um, but it's just the default value. Um, and let's see it in action. If this character hits me, I'm going to be spawning a blood on the screen. It's just so subtle, it's not um, as bad as you can see. Okay. Okay, this is the effect. Um, and that's it. I hope it helped you. And if it did, please hit that like button and have a great day. Bye.